Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog channel. Oh, it has been a busy morning. I love busy mornings though, because it makes me feel like I can get a lot done. Um, if you're new here, click the subscribe button. So I'm about to head up to the nail salon. I found this really, really cute design and I asked you guys on Insta which design, like I found four designs and I asked you guys which one I should pick and this one won by a freaking landslide. You guys see that? How cute. I go back and forth between loving and hating the nail salon and like currently I like really miss it. I, I just miss like not having to do my nails, but I don't love having to like sit there and get my nails done the whole time. <laughs> Um, I remember when I was like first asking, I asked in like fifth grade, I was like, all my friends have their nails done. Can I get my nails done? And my mom's like never been one who really had her nails done. She was like, if you want it, you're going to work. You're going to get the money yourself and you're going to pay for it yourself. And that's going to be on you. And, um, I was like, okay. And I like got me some jobs, like little yard work, did all, you know, all the stuff and paid and got my nails done. So I've just always been back and forth about whether or not I love it. But I'm also going to run to the store. Sam and I just completely screwed ourselves on this one. <laughs> we, so he's in the legal department and without kind of sharing too much of what he does, it never fails that at like 455, he will get, he'll find something that like he needs to shoot up to the higher up lawyers. Um, or at, 11:55. Like it never fails and so he tries to take his lunch break at 12 and he'll find something, he'll have to shoot it up to the lawyers, they'll jump on a call to take care of it. So he's been taking his lunch break like later and later and that happened like consecutively every day in a row for like a week and a half. So we weren't hungry at dinner time because I take my lunch break with him and then we weren't using our groceries. Grocery week rolls around. We do our grocery pickup every other week. Didn't really need anything. So we were like, oh, just don't worry about it. Well, now it's grocery week. Monday, we usually do grocery pickup on Friday. Y'all, we have nothing in this house. Nothing. So I told him we have enough to like combine some things here and there. So I'm going to like run to Ingalls. This is the last time I'm going to the store until we get, until we get our groceries. And I was like, I'm going to get like onesie, twosie things that um, can make full meals until it's grocery pickup day. Cause we have like random things like meatballs and, um, like what else we have? We have like chicken, but nothing to go with it. And then we have like, uh, peppers, but we don't have sausage. So I'm going to get like a couple things, but that's what we're doing today. I've been using this NARS lipstick a lot. It's actually a chapstick. Um, it's the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the color Orgasm. I actually got it in another color. It should be here like Wednesday, I think, um, for my birthday gift for Sephora. If you don't wanna wear lip color, like don't wanna waste it because you have to wear a mask, I recommend that because it gives you a little bit of color, but it's lip balm. So like it's not, doesn't really come off on your mask. So, all right, I gotta get moving. Got some stuff to do. It was a busy morning, but gotta keep that Got to keep that going throughout the day. So annoyed. So the nail salon actually expanded. They bought another place right next to it. Completely expanded. So I walked in and I was like kind of shell-shocked for a second. Because I was like, what am I in the right place? And we only have one nail salon where I live. Um, but I was like, hi, uh, can I get a manicure? And the lady was like, yeah, it'll be about like just 10 minutes max. I was like, okay. 20 minutes later, there are two employees walking around not doing anything. And... So yeah, I'm doing my own nails today. This is why I have a love-hate relationship with the salon. It's like they know that they're the only salon in town. And like they're nice, but they're not in any rush. Because they know like you have to drive like 45 minutes if you want to go to another nail salon. Or at least another good nail salon. So I'm frustrated, but I am so, I'm so effing hungry. So I got to go grab something to eat. And then I'm just going to go to the grocery store and I'll just go home and do my own nails. But... I'm so pissed that I had this productive morning and then I waited 20 minutes at the nail salon for absolutely nothing to happen. <sighs> just is annoying. Ugh! Whatever, I'll get over it and quit throwing my temper tantrum about such a minuscule problem. Damn, we have talked about this. These are the delivery drivers. Sam steals them all. If you're a delivery driver who delivers to our house. I am so very sorry that my husband takes all of your good chips and you're left with like Fritos and Lay's. I'm just gonna get a bag of Doritos next time. Okay, 
So I'm officially a fan of Ingles. I don't know, why did we, why did we do buy low? Just cause it was close and local? Is that why for so long we chose that grocery store? So Ingles is significantly cheaper. Um, one thing I loved that they had everything labeled that was gluten free, even that like you wouldn't think about like pasta sauces, like they had certain pasta sauces labeled as gluten-free, like I never would have thought about that. And um, I did that to myself, sort of. So I'm gonna do a grocery haul, but if you're new here, <laughs> it was, I think, was it before our wedding or after? I think it was after. All of a sudden got like real puffy after I would eat. Um, like my whole face, my hands, my neck would get super puffy and then my stomach would start hurting and I felt like I was just gonna throw up. And then a couple weeks went by, I started having really, really bad pains in my chest that we, like everyone believed was gallbladder. I thought it was my gallbladder. My doctor thought it was gallbladder pains. And after an ultrasound that was very, very, very expensive for them to tell me that gallbladder was fine, I read up on it and I saw that sometimes gluten intolerance can, so I don't have celiac disease, but gluten intolerance can cause those same issues, cut out gluten and the issues immediately went away. So now I'm gluten friendly. I've been like gluten friendly for, we'll say this fall, it will be three years. But when I started working from home, I was able to go like gluten free essentially. And now I, I can't eat anything with flour. Um, I can't eat anything with gluten in it. And it just, it breaks my heart, but I mean, it's what I gotta do. Um, like even last night, I ate the smallest part of Sam's tortilla shell. Like I'm talking like this big. And I was, it felt like my whole stomach was on fire. So I got a bunch of stuff that was all labeled like gluten-free. Um, and that's what, like, I don't know if gluten, if something is gluten-free and you're not like gluten intolerant or have celiac disease, like, I don't know if it's considered more healthy because sometimes I find things that have gluten in them that are way more calories. Um, but let me unbag all this stuff and then I'll share my little haul. Okay, so I got this big thing of mozzarella cheese because we are making little homemade pizzas tonight and I wanted um, some good cheese and we use a lot of mozzarella so I got the big thing. I got these noodles that are gluten free and then these noodles that are gluten free as well. Um, Two packs of the Caesar salad kits. I love, love Caesar salad kits. Like the longer I'm working from home, the more I like salad for lunch because it's light. Got two different kinds of syrup. Sam and I are gonna do start doing like brunch at the house on like either Saturdays or Sundays, probably Saturdays. Um, and we are out of syrup. The best of all, like end all be all of mixes. I got these, they're these Crunch Master protein brownie thins. Ooh. They're only 130 calories for 32 thins. And they're protein, so I was like, all right, cool. Try those. Got little pasta sauces, for or pizza sauces for us tonight. This is our new favorite coffee. Sam absolutely loves it, don't ya? He doesn't put sugar in his coffee when he has that because he says it just isn't as necessary. Um, this stuff I have gotten from Thrive before, but they had a bigger pack of it. I'm drinking it today. Oh. That's just not as bitter as the other one. Yeah. The other one is really bitter. Um, got some Caesar dressing. Mister had eaten all the peanut butter and I like my dates with peanut butter. Pepperonis. Why do they still make these? I don't know. The cards. Like who brings their, like, I, who I don't know. Use phone number? I don't know. And then I got Sam flour tortillas and I got me gluten free. And then I also got these. I got two packs. I have to redo our flowers because they are bad. Let me show you. I'll show you these. These are the worst of them all. Hi, Sashi girl. Hi, baby. Hi. Look how bad these are, you guys. They are so bad. So I gotta redo those, but I don't think they'll fit even if I cut them down in this. But this one's just as bad. And there is someone in our house, I'm not gonna like name names or anything, but one of the animals, can you stop petting her on the table, baby? One of the animals in our house who loves to climb on top of things also likes to eat roses. Well, flowers of any kind, really. She's not, she's not, you know, she doesn't discriminate. But um, I'm not going to name any names, right, Allie? We don't name names of the cat that loves to destroy the flowers. 
So. You bite me? Why you bite me? Girlfriend, honey, can you please get her off the table? So, Allie eats these and just destroys them, but they are old, so. Got to fix these today. Are you safe and protected under there? Hello, my chunky girl. Hello, my chunky girl. You know, of all of our animals, she is the one who asks for the least amount of attention. Attention. She's so cute. But she talks more than any of our others. So like, if you, sorry, I have the vacuum going. Um, if we're in the bathroom, like getting in the shower or something, she loves to come in the shower, I mean in the bathroom and just sit in the bathroom with you while you shower. And the whole time you're in there, she's going, meow, meow, and she's just talking to you. So if you talk back to her, she'll talk again. My sweet girl, she's hidden, you can't find her. She's hiding from a savior. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, she's hiding for Sally. You can't tell him. Don't tell him she's right there, okay? Don't tell him she's right there. Kayla, if you watch the vlogs, don't watch this one. You're ruining them. <laughs> um, so my sister-in-law, I talked about, and I didn't even realize it in the last vlog, I like talked about getting my sister this, my sister-in-law this box of goodies. Um, and I was like, I don't even think they know it's coming. So I might have spoiled the surprise. I don't know if they watch the vlog channel. I don't know if they have time. Um, but if you do watch this, Kayla, don't look away. But I wanted to share what I got with her with for you guys. I wanted to share what I got her with you guys. Words are hard. Um, so a couple things I told you guys about in the last vlog or two vlogs ago. So I'm doing this bridal box of all the things that I wish I would have had or would have done leading up to my wedding. Like teeth whitening, used Olaplex in my hair. And I had flip flops the day of my wedding. And I really wish I would have had some really cute slippers. Are these not the cutest thing ever? So I have a pair from Judith March. Hold on. That's where these are from too. But I have obviously my initials. She has a few different colors, a few different styles. But these are mine. Wait. These are mine. How cute are these? So I have like the taupe color, beige color, with the... Um, sparkly initials on them and Kayla's I wanted to get white and then I obviously got C because that will be her new last initial and then I got gold for the outside of the letters um, because the colors are for the wedding I believe are rose gold and gold I know they're rose gold but she'll still like gold anyway how cute are those oh my gosh I am in love every bride should get these so I'm gonna link them below Judith March you go on their website you pick the sizes um they have like different colors but you'll pick the size and I think mine are the beige I think hers are the white sizing is I have a nine and a half I got a ten um she wears a seven and a half so I bought her an eight. Oh my god her feet are so little look how tiny this is the cutest thing I'm so glad I got these do you think we should start out by making one or do you think we should each make two I think we should see how they fit in the and see if we can make more than two at a time. I don't think we can. So, are we going to try to do a top tray, bottom tray? Yeah. Might have more, more brown <laughs> parts to it. Okay. Make your own, bud. I was going to say, what's the... Why are you using Does it have like recommended mm -hmm. amounts or is it just kind of a... Nope. God, this sauce smells so good. I'm excited for these little pizzas. We probably could have gone with one can because like, I don't know, we'll use these though. Or you'd like a lot of sauce. Yes. Also don't like thin crust pizza. Like, it's not in the world. I prefer like thin crust. deep dish pizza. Yeah. We, we um ate at a restaurant when we went to Jersey, I think. Your family? Yeah, when well, we went to Rhode Island to see Mimi. And we'll have to venture into New Jersey because, you know, if you've never been to Rhode Island, Rhode Island's like, no, it's not 20 miles. It must sound stupid, but yeah. it's like 20 miles wide or something. Tiny. Like, you can literally drive from one side to the coast and back in like an hour. And, um, so anyway, that was back. Mimi used to live in Providence, and so. 
we went to somewhere in New Jersey and had these like fat pizzas. And I'm talking, it came out like it looked like a cake dish. Like it was like probably three to four inches deep. And they told us when we ordered it, they were like, hey, I just want to let y'all know, this is real deep dish pizza. Like this is going to take minimum 30 to 45 minutes to cook. Oh, wow. Because it has to be baked. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, not like our little this, thin this crust like, pizzas. Yeah. Well, like the meat in it, he's like, we have to like pre-cook the meat, then put the meat in it. He's like, so everything has to be like pre-cooked, prepared. I feel like barely putting cheese on yours. That's Trying be like, to be a little low cow. That's gonna be like the sad French version of pizza. <laughs> Scraggly cheese you got in there. Oh my god, I'm gonna put more cheese on it. Chill out, mister. <sighs> Okay. I mean, I don't have the same metabolism you do. You miss a meal and lose eight pounds. I look at a cookie and gain five. Like. Yeah, man, if you were my age, it would be I am your age. For another week ish, week and a half. Twelve. What? Twelve days. Gosh. Almost two weeks. Okay, so our stove is only like 107,000 years old, um, so it takes forever to heat up. So we have got our pizzas done here. Sam just did, you know, a regular pepperoni with cheese, and I added spinach to mine. And then again, mine are on the gluten-free tortilla shells. His are on flour. Okay, so I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so we had to pause it because we're about to get the pizzas out the oven. Go ahead and grab them out if you think they look good, babe. I am excited. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this excited for dinner. That's not true. It's food, I'm excited. Those look so good. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. I cannot wait. I don't know why we've never done this before. I was looking up easy recipes and I saw something about homemade pizza in like 10 minutes or something. Oh, by the way, I had to get rid of the lilies. Someone messaged me and said that um, they're extremely toxic to cats. So, no more lilies. They lasted a good hour. In frame. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. I'm nervous it's gonna be super hot. Yeah. You lied, that's hot. That is so good. What an easy little thing. I mean, obviously there are probably people, <laughs> there are people all over the place who probably do this like all the time. So we did not invent anything. We are not revolutionary. They taste just like those microwavable ones. Mm-hmm. Mm. But fresh ingredients, so so delicious. Look at Salem staring at Alley. All right, guys, we're gonna enjoy dinner. Yeah, the pepperonis are super hot. But we cooked them on 425 for 10 minutes. So good, so freaking good. Good morning, friends. So it is Tuesday now. Um, I forgot to close out the vlog, but I have so much to do today. So I'm not gonna be vlogging. I just finished filming or planning what I'm gonna be filming um, today and then on Friday. Hopefully I have a self tanning video coming to my main channel, but I forgot completely and self tanned and like my self tan routine like lasts a long time. So I'm going to avoid doing anything that will extend the tan. Hopefully it will wear off and I can film it by Friday. If not, it'll be up on Sunday. Um, but I have this whole long list of things that I am doing. <laughs> Um, so wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that we are going to start doing a weekly giveaway here on the vlog channel only. Um, I'm not doing it on my main channel. This isn't associated with my Instagram giveaway that I have that's going on monthly. This is just for you guys and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the vlog channel. If you're already subscribed, you're already entered and then just comment below. You can comment on the video, um, anything like that. It does help if you add like your Instagram handle. So if you have Instagram, um, add your Instagram handle to the comments if you want to be entered in just in case because sometimes I know YouTube won't notify you if I respond to your comment. Um, but I'll figure out how to get a hold of whoever wins each week. So that's really it. And if you do want to like have a bonus entry, just follow me on Instagram. But if you want to enter in the vlog channel giveaway, all you have to do subscribe to the vlog channel, comment below. That's it. Um, what we are going to be giving away this week is a $50 Target 
gift card and we'll announce it sometime in one of the three vlogs next week um and that is when we'll also announce our other giveaway so hope that makes sense i'll put it in the description bar below if it is a little bit confusing because i am still on my first cup of coffee um but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you start liking the weekly giveaways we love doing those kind of things here i think we did some like last christmas like christmas 2019 and i really enjoyed it but um you know still a lot has happened since then so we're gonna keep doing this thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and we love you guys so much